Hello, my fellow Rome Tuplers! The Rip here with a short tutorial video on how to launch Rome 2 in borderless full screen windowed mod. Yes! Now, why would you need that? Uh, no, because this function even, isn't even in a game. Well, because it's useful, because it allows you to alt tab whenever you want, because it's easier when you have multi monitor setup and you want to be able to move between applications and the game easily. And for some people, for strange reason, in windowed mode, game actually run fastest. Well, for some it runs slower. For me, as a streamer, as YouTube caster, it's very important uh, to, like, it, it's much more useful, obviously, uh, because if I try to stream in full uh, screen mode, uh, in, and I alt tab, my screen may become dark sometimes, completely dark, because game sort of minimizes itself. And I don't like that. I don't want it. So, uh, what do I do? Before I used Shift Window, very nice uh, piece of software. What it did, I launched a game in a windowed mode in the same resolution as my mon monitor. And what happened? My window had... Uh, it's uh, uh, my game had its window title here, and some of the game was below uh, lower part of a screen. So what Shift Window does, it moves your game up and a couple of pixels to the left, so that you only have visible area of the game on the screen. So essentially, it's f uh, full screen windowed mode, borderless, essentially, but. One practical problem with Shift Window is the fact that it cannot automatically load rules. You need to do it manually, which is a bit tedious. I hope it would be fixed. Now, today I googled again, I found this uh, wiki page link. It was not that full when I found it uh, first time, like half a year ago. So a lot of stuff added. And more importantly, added this link, Window with Borderless Gaming. If you follow this link, you will get to this Steam forum and here on the first po uh, post you have a link to download software. Obviously you need to check it with antivirus uh, when you download it. All you need from it is exe file, uh, which called something like windowed borderless mod. So you put that file where you want it and you launch it and it will be sitting in your tray like this. You see this dark uh, monitor thingy? Then what you do is you start your game, you put it in windowed mode in the same resolution as your monitor, and you will still get the same window title, uh, some of the game would be below the screen. After that you go back to tray, you alt tab, you right click on this thing, you click add the window, so you say in this program, wait for me, I will tell you which window to add now. Uh, then you go back to your game and click F3. And it will connect your game to this program. Uh, now the problem uh, could be, you will see that your game instead of fitting, it will actually stretch. So uh, it's annoying and uh, it looks like a problem, but all you need to do to go open game settings, pick a game and manually put a proper resolution here. You click apply, save and voila, your game now will be automatically launched and bo in borderless windowed mode. It would be like native full screen, but with proper alt tab, with no problems uh, that full screen mode usually has. Uh, but obviously you need this program launched uh, before you launch the game for it to work. And it will do everything automatically. So that's it, I guess. Uh, on this page you can read uh, more about it, but for me the whole process was what I explained. Uh, on a thread, uh, lower there is, mm, just to keep you completely informed, this isn't a problem. On a thread I saw some people asking if it gets your WAC band or not. I went through whole thread obviously, it started at uh, 2012, I went to the last page, it's, uh, let's see, one year, more than one year later and no one got banned. So now 
making your game borderless windowed will not make you bunt on uh, Valve anti-cheat, uh, just so you know. And I guess that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you later.